And this will be a delicious ribeye just with salt and pepper because we've done the right steps. We brought it to room temperature, take it out of your fridge 30 minutes before. We patted it dry, salt and pepper, a good amount, and then give it a good sear. Notice, I did the potatoes, I did my veg without playing with my steak. I just let it finish searing. So now because this one's pretty thin, I'm gonna let it cook for another, I don't know, minute or so. And then I can take out my steaks and in real time, we're gonna do a pan sauce. A peppercorn sauce is one of my favorites. And I'm gonna show you how to make it right here, right now. The broccolini, I can't stress it enough. Give it a little pre-blanch. You could do it, by the way, the night before your dinner party or the morning of. Have your blanched veg. That's a restaurant trick that we use. Whether it's broccolini or broccoli or asparagus, we always like to give it a quick blanch so we're not just cooking it straight from raw. So it still keeps that bright, vibrant green color. Now I'm gonna take out this ribeye here. I think it's ready to rest. And of course, you gotta let it rest. We all know before cutting into a steak, you want it to rest. If I cut into the steak for Marlo, which I know she wants, but not yet, I don't want those juices to come out of the steak. I'm gonna take out some of that fat, and I just wanna show you real quick. When I say non-stick, I really mean it. Look, look at how non-stick this is. Even after I seared those steaks, for as long as I did and as hard as I did, look at this. Now, old school cast iron, that's never happening. You gotta wrestle with it, you gotta scrub it, you can't use water, you can't use soap, you can't look at it funny. This one you can. You can do whatever you want. And it's like a nonstick pan, but with the attributes of cast iron. Now in my pan, real quick, a quick pan sauce. I'm gonna deglaze again with a little bit of wine. And you can do that in this cast iron. Traditional cast iron, acidic foods like wine, you can't. A Little bit of cream. And a little bit of beef stock. Let it reduce. A Little bit of salt. And because I love kind of a peppercorn steak vibe, not to mention peppercorn steak is my dad's favorite. It is his 80th birthday today. Happy birthday, dad. Lots of pepper. If you didn't get enough pepper from the carbonara before, you're gonna get it now. Now look, wine, stock, cream, it's okay. This is cast iron. It can take it. Look at this. I'm gonna let this reduce. I've got my pan sauce reducing for that creamy peppercorn sauce. I've got my veg pretty much done. Now, don't forget the veg. I did the onions and the garlic in my glass bowl chopper with no knife, super fast. And then over here, I've got my fondant potatoes. And like I said, you could take a peek. Look, 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 look. Yes. Already, it's steaming. It's kind of, the starch is thickening that sauce. All of a sudden, those fondant potatoes are thickened from the butter, from the stock, from the leftover kind of stock and butter and, and starch from the potato. Do it with carrots, do it with a celery root. Do it with anything that you feel like it's a boring old vegetable, but it needs some help. Now, my veg looks good, my sock, my sauce is simmering away. I'm gonna do a little bit of parsley in my glass bowl chopper. Again, no knife, no cutting board. Four blades that are super sharp, and your fingers are not in the way, which I love. So with that glass bowl chopper, I want you to think about nuts, herbs, onions, garlic, do a quick salsa. It's the right size, it's got the right amount of power. For me, it's got the right amount of power. It's almost like a heavy duty food processor, but the right size, and all you do is plug it in. You're not lugging out a big one. I'm gonna do some fresh parsley to either garnish my potatoes or my steak with the sauce. Now look, if you did this with a knife, how long would it take to do fresh parsley like that? Or do fresh shallots or garlic? And you get everything the same size, super, super fast. If you don't wanna lug out a big clunky food processor, this is your solution. You just plug it in and it's got four blades, does the same kind of thing, and I love that. So, where should the parsley go? I'm gonna put it in my potatoes. Let's uncover it here. Already in real time, you see it's kind of thickened up. Oh, these potatoes look so good. The cream sauce with the peppercorns is calling my name too. Let me know in, on the Facebook comments, have you ever had fondant potatoes before? Is this something you'd try? Would you do it with potatoes? Would you do it with carrots? Would you do it with celery root? 
any kind of root vegetable that you can sear, flip, and braise in stock, put a knob of butter, put some herbs, and let the natural starch make a sauce. We've got our veg, we've got our sauce. Steakhouse dinner isn't complete without potatoes. I think now I can plate something up for my friend Marlo. Yay! <laughs> Let's put some of the broccolini down. The potatoes are singing. Look at this. Marlo, have you ever had a fondant potato before? I have not. Okay, I think you're gonna love this because you can see already it's reduced down into this beautiful sauce. I'm gonna give you the prettiest one I could find. Wow, Look lots at this. of comments, by the way, on Facebook. Um, so good. Valerie Moore says, I'm in trouble. Uh -oh. I'm ordering so many items. Good. But she said, shh, don't tell her husband. I'm not telling anybody, Valerie. Are you kidding <laughs> me? I'm not gonna tell anybody. Donna Johnson says, looks delicious. Now, let's get this cream sauce right on top of that steak. Oh, yeah. Marla, you got the best job on earth tonight. I know, can we make this a date next Friday night? <laughs> <laughs> the fondant potatoes, the cream sauce, the beautiful seared ribeye. We did the broccolini, we did it with shallots and garlic in seconds with the glass bowl chopper. I did my parsley in seconds. You could garnish with some chopped nuts. I love it. Marlo, I got a fork. Do you got a knife? You do. I do. We did a steakhouse dinner, Marlo, and 20 minutes? Yes. Right? Yes. You seared the steaks. We made the pan sauce. You did the fondant potatoes. We did onions and garlic in our glass bowl chopper in seconds. We did the parsley in seconds. And then we brought it all together with the help of cast iron. We made everything hot. Everything stayed hot. And we got the kind of sear that you'll never get with stainless steel or aluminum or just a